Hello everyone, this is Leo from the PC Security Channel. Today we'll be reviewing Intercept X from Sophos. Ransomware seems to be the Achilles heel of a lot of products. It has been a devastating threat for the last couple of years and it's only getting worse. So I decided to check out this product which is actually a part of their endpoint protection suite and see how well it can deal with new and popular ransomware. A couple of interesting things to note. This is entirely controlled by the cloud and the control on the host system is extremely minimalistic. You can just do a scan and that's about it. Secondly, this is an entirely behavioral or zero day based product, meaning it does not use any kind of signatures. So that's going to make this test very interesting. I have a couple of folders here. Now the new folder contains a couple of samples which are really low detection ratio, very new, not well known at all. While the selected ransomware folder includes some of the most popular ransomware samples of the last year or so. So we're going to try both of these folders and run these samples one by one and see how Sophos Intercept X responds. Now I think I'm going to start with the new folder because that's what most people are curious about and this is where traditional products usually fail to protect you. So let's give it a go. It seems to ask for administrator privileges and Sophos immediately seems to have detected it. Now we do have some files in pictures and documents so we can check if they were encrypted or if Sophos was able to protect them. As you can see it has detected one file with malicious behavior and I believe it's taking care of it automatically. If we take a look at our pictures everything seems to be intact, no modifications. Same thing with our documents, we still have the text intact, no encryption has taken place. And if we take a look at Task Manager, it seems Sophos is busy at work removing the ransomware. So I'm going to wait for a few minutes and then we'll try out the next sample. We have a new pop-up that says we need a reboot to complete the cleanup process. I think the detection actually included a scan which has gotten rid of one of our ransomware in this folder. That's okay, we still have plenty of samples. I can always grab it back from the host machine too. So I'm going to comply with Sophos and uh, do a restart and then we'll continue. But so far so good. I just got an alert via email about the ransomware infection and it seems Sophos has a boot time cleanup routine. Now we're back and the system seems fully functional. I don't see any kind of ransomware starting up, so I guess it's safe to proceed once everything's loaded. Yep, there we go. Your computer is protected. I agree. Now it's time to run the second sample. If I'm right, this is not detected by any engines on Vars Total, period. Not one. Let's see if Sophos can protect us and our files. The ransomware interface seems to have popped up immediately and it says file encryption in progress. It has these different buttons. What is Bitcoin? Decrypt my files. What is ransomware? The window is also keeping itself on top. So this has kind of disabled the computer. Now I can't really use anything because it's going to block my view. But the important thing is whether or not it's able to affect our files. So I'm just going to leave the system running for a few minutes and then I'll reboot it and we'll see if there is any kind of persistence from this threat. After several minutes and rebooting it seems that the ransomware has had no effect. Our files are still intact. So that is score 2 for Sophos Intercept X. So far nothing has been able to harm our files. So the new ransomware was successfully intercepted. Now you know why I have this wallpaper. Let's move on to some more seasoned players. In here we have threats that are 
old enough that most security products would block them with their signatures. However, since InterceptX does not use any signatures, these are still going to be evaluated like any new file. So let's see what happens. We're going to start with Adam Walker, which is a fake.pdf. It's actually an application. This one seems to have been immediately picked up. And if we look in events, we can see that color check exploit was prevented. So this was part of the exploit mitigation. The cleaning process is over. No restart required this time. So that's great. Let's move on to Cerber, which is a very resilient ransomware. A lot of products seem to have problems with this. Let's see if Sophos can intercept it. Once again, the exploit mitigation is able to pick this up. And I believe this blocks execution very early on, meaning that the ransomware doesn't even get a chance to load up in memory. And now it's taken care of. It's disappeared. So Cerber is out of here. Let's try Goldeneye, which is again a very infamous threat. Picked up again. I'm quite impressed so far. It seems Goldeneye was actually able to create a shortcut on the desktop. Let's see if any of our other files are affected though. I doubt if they are from the looks of it because Goldeneye typically reboots the system. And no they're not. Sophos has taken care of that one too. So all it was able to do was create this text file on our desktop which, needless to say, isn't a problem. Now let's move on to Locky. This is the direct executable and not the JS downloader. Okay, so Locky doesn't seem to be working. Maybe it's uh, command and control servers are down. Maybe I just picked up the wrong sample. Let's try deleting it. Yep, it deletes it so. Now let's try mole ransomware, which is a fairly new threat. We're seeing new variants of this, which are not picked up by a lot of signatures. However, it does seem to have been picked up again by InterceptX. We have a few more threats to go, but don't worry, I saved the best for the last so you don't get bored. All right, mole wasn't able to dig its hole. Instead, it found its way into the rabbit hole to hell that is out of this system. I'm quite thankful for that. Now let's try Petya. This is the green version. And again we have a pop-up from InterceptX. This is going much smoother than I initially anticipated. Next up is Shade, encryptor from Russia. Whoa, it seems like Sophos got rid of that too. Now I'm gonna try Spora has a pretty sophisticated encryption process. But again, it does not seem to be working on the system. Now we have Verlocker and WannaCry, which is the recent epidemic. Let's try Verlocker first. Again, exploit mitigation. Gets a hold of that one. And finally, Wanna Cry. All right, so it seems it removed Wanna Cry along with the other threats. So it kind of suggests that it's using some kind of scan procedure once a threat is detected, probably a cloud scan. So even though the product isn't signature based, if you have some kind of ransomware activation, it is then going to do a cleanup scan, which does include, I guess, signatures because it is picking up files and removing them without them being executed at all. I'll just go and grab WannaCry again, because we can't miss that now, can we? Let's just move it to the desktop and execute it. It seems to have extracted a lot of its stuff. I don't know if it has done any damage. Let's check our pictures. Nope, nothing here. Documents, 
Okay, so a lot of new files have been created, but it seems our old files are still intact. Let's see. The ransomware window does pop up. However, our files are not affected, so that's really good. It seems the ransomware was allowed to create whatever new files it needed to, but it wasn't able to modify or delete or take over the older files that we had. So that kind of renders the ransomware useless because you can just remove it with any regular scanner and you will have a fully working machine with all your files that takes the ransom out of the ransomware. So overall, I'm really happy with the result. For a specialized product, it did its job really well. It seems to do what it advertises. Now, of course, if I had the endpoint protection suite, it would probably have blocked a lot of this ransomware from executing at all. But where's the fun in that? So those are my views on IntercepTX. I hope you enjoyed this review. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hopefully I'll see this on a Sophos home product sometime in the future. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content. This is Leo. Thank you for watching. And as always, stay informed, stay secure.